Hello my students, how are you? How do you do today? Today we will continue with Unit 8 Grammar in News. We will talk about model verbs. What's the definition of a model verb? A model verb is a type of helping verbs that expresses ability, possibility, permission, or obligation. Okay. This is a table. It shows the model verbs and their usage. Look at number one, can. We use can for ability or permission. Look at the sentences. He can walk on his hands. It's ability. Can I have a menu? It's a permission. Number two, could. We use could for ability in the past and permission in polite way. Look at the examples. He could speak French fluently when he was a boy. Could I borrow your dictionary, please? Number three, may. We use may for possibility and permission in a polite way. Look at the examples. It may be windy later. May I leave the room? Look at the answers. Yes, you may or no, you may not. Number four, might. We use might for possibility. We might go to America next year. Okay. Number five, must. We use must for obligation. Number one, you must study hard to pass the exam. Number two, you had to stop when you saw a stop sign. Had to, it's the past form of must. Number six, should. We use should for obligation. Look at the example. You should clean those dirty shoes. Number seven, ought to. We use ought to for obligation also. Look at the example. John ought to work harder. Okay. Now we will talk about the forms of the model verbs. We will start with the affirmative form we start with subject the model verb the base form of the verb then the complement look at the example it might rain the negative form subject model verb not and base form of the verb then the complement look at the example she couldn't swim questions we start with the model verb, the subject, the base form of the verb, then the complement, and we should write a question mark at the end of the question. Look at the example. May you change the summer plan? The passive sentence with the model verbs. We start with the subject. It's an object in the active sentence. The model verb, be, past participle verb, then the complement. Look at the sentence. That tree should be cut down. Okay. Now, open your booklet, page 40. Question number one. Fill in the blanks with the suitable model verbs. These are the model answers. Open your booklet, page 41, to continue the question, and these are the model answers. Now, bring your workbook and a pen to write the answers in your workbook, page 70. Exercise 1. Rewrite the sentences using the verbs and brackets. Number 1. Perhaps they will build a new library. The model verb is may. Who's the subject in this uh, sentence? They. They is a subject. 
Then what's the model verb in this uh, sentence? May. Okay. And the verb is build. We will construct a sentence with a model verb by using the forms that we studied in previous time. They may build a new library. This is the sentence with the model verb. Sentence number two. It is possible that the building will look very modern and the model verb is might. We will construct a sentence with the model verb might in affirmative form. We will start with the subject. In this sentence, we talk about what? We talk about the building as a subject and the verb as look. So, the sentence will be, the building might look very modern, okay? Let's continue with sentence number three. Maybe the council will suggest a new site. The model verb is might. Now, we will construct a sentence with uh, the model verb might. In this sentence, we talk about what? About the council so the council is the subject we will start with this subject the council the council might suggest a new site number four the new library will possibly cost a lot of money the model verb may we talk about the library in this sentence as a subject so we will start with library then the model verb may, then the verb cost. Look at the sentence. The new library may cost a lot of money. Okay. Question number two. Complete the sentences with one of the verbs and brackets. Number one. If you don't like the design, you, space, say so. The model verbs might or should. This sentence expresses obligation. So, we should choose should. Okay. Number two. Space. I open the window, please. Can or must. This sentence expresses permission. So, we will use can. Three. You, space, never speak rudely to your teachers might or must this sentence expresses obligation also so we will use must number four if you are hungry use face eat something ought to or mustn't this sentence expresses obligation and affir in affirmative form so we will use or two. Number five, it's very cold. I think it's face snow. Should or might. This sentence expresses possibility, so we will use might. Number six, I space buy that CD, but I'm not sure can or may. This sentence expresses possibility, so we will use may. Okay, now we will talk about the phrasal verbs. Look at this table. This table contains some phrasal verbs and their meanings. You should memorize them to fill them in the blanks in correct way. Number one, get rid of to stop having something. Number two, get away to escape. Number three, get on with, to be friend with. Number four, get over, to start to feel happy. Number five, get out of, to avoid. Question number three. Complete the sentences with the verbs in the box. These are the phrasal verbs. You should fill them in the blanks in the correct way. 
and these are the correct answers. Okay, my students, don't forget to study the model verbs subject effectively. Write the answers in your box in clear handwriting. Memorize the new words. Have a nice day. Goodbye.